Hello everybody, what's going on? This is Andrew, and while we wait for Streets of New Capenna to hit Magic Online and Magic Arena, we have the Tinkerer's Cube Draft on Magic Arena to kind of <laughs> satiate our hunger while we wait. So the Tinkerer's Cube is less powerful than the traditional Arena Cube, but they want you to, to do something cool, to make a theme, a sub-theme, something like that. So I'm gonna hop into a draft here and see what it looks like. Apparently there are four copies of environmental sciences in the cube and everything else is normal. Um, so let's go, let's go tinker. Let's try to build something sweet and not just something uh, powerful. Um, these tinker cubes can be hit or miss. <laughs> I remember the first iteration of this I, I was not into but then the subsequent ones were a lot better. So let's um, let's hope that this version of the cube is, is fun. All right, after a long queue, <laughs> we are in the game. Let's see what our first pack has to offer. Um, geez, there's so many cards here. There's some lands, there's Magda. Magda's powerful because it makes treasures. And treasures help me cast things. What's this thing? Those so combat damage to a player, they discard a card, and I make a zombie. Okay. Rotting Registor is always interesting as an early take also. Um, I don't know if there's like reanimation things in the cube, but Rotting Registor is good at reanimation things. Furious Rise? Oh, I can't click on Furious Rise. Um, well, I guess I can't take half these cards for some reason. Uh, I don't know that I'd want to take Furious Rise anyways. I think for me it's between the Magda and the Rotting Registaur. Um, treasures or, re like, reanimation stuff. I'm going to take the Registaur. I think that's a fun first pick. And what do I get next? Thundering Jin, Dragon Spark Raptor's cool. So there's like an artifact sub theme here. That's neat. Um, Ellie Wick, Adventure Deck. Okay. There's a couple lands. There's also Egan, God of Death. Which kind of goes with my Registor, right? Hmm. Milling cards, discarding cards, looking for reanimation things. And then there's lands that I wouldn't mind having also. I'm just, I'm just going to take Egan. And see... I don't even know if this is a thing. I hope it's a thing. <laughs> spider spawning. We figured it out. Okay. I'll take spider spawning. If you build, a, build around this card, it's really insane. And I have a good start to it already. Um... Other cards that I'm kind of interested in. The lands, the Cosmos Elixir, and the Kaito Shizuki. But yeah, I'm in to just playing a, a creature deck here. Archfiend of Sorrows kind of goes with what I'm hoping to do. It has unearth, so if it's in the graveyard, I can activate its ability still. It's a removal spell. Um, Argyle's Bloodfast is a cool card, but I don't think I want it here. Uh, Bone Shards. I could play Tezzeret's Gambit. No, I'm going to take the Archfiend of Sorrows. Change the outcast. What is this doing here? <laughs> Um, so this makes red or some other color of mana. The Binding of the Titans kind of goes in my deck. I'll take the Binding of the Titans. I don't want too many non-creature spells because of spider spawning. But this seems okay. Harvester of Souls, Revel in Riches. And Tomebound Lich helps you reanimate also. Uh, 
Harvester of Souls is a big thing. I'm not super into any of these cards, to be completely honest. Rousing Reed's pretty good. Yeah, I'll just take the big, the big dumb thing. Uh, Skull Prophet. I like Skull Prophet. Yep. I hope that Overgrown Tomb that I saw earlier comes back now. <laughs> Epic Proportions. I really don't think I'm playing any of these cards. Like, Squee would fit in here. I'll take the green card. I'm not playing any of those, though. I'll take a Pest Summoning. Might make the sideboard. No one took the red or the blue lands. It looks like red and blue are open. No one took the Dragon Spark Reactor. Um, it's probably a little more likely that I end up in blue. So I'll take Odawara. Actually, I'm happy to take this. It's a creature in the graveyard. It cycles. It's a big thing. Pretty happy with Space Godzilla. Ooh, I got Ar I get Argel's Bloodfest also. Yeah. Bloodfest is a cool card. You can pay life to draw a card, and then if you have five or less life, you flip it. And on the flip side, you can sacrifice creatures to gain life. Maybe there's ninjas in the cube. Okay, I kind of like where we're at. I'd like to find reanimation spells. <clears throat> but if I can find reanimation spells, I'm pretty happy. Um, this makes dragons. That's fine. That's instants and sorceries. Samut's interesting. But ultimately, I don't like any of these cards. I think I'm just going to take the Fabled Passage. Mana Fixing's good, and this is kind of a weak pack for me. Um, if you gain life, create a blood token. This is like the Death Touch tribal card. That's not great for me. This thing makes mana. Kind of into that. Kind of don't want any of these other cards. Whenever you discard one or more cards, make a zombie. Hmm. <laughs> There's also a Spinning Will Kick and Prosperous Innkeeper. Um, Calyx is the Enchantment Matters card, or Planeswalker. I think Calyx is cool, but I'm not really Enchantment Matters right now. And I have a couple cards that discard cards, but not too many. I don't think I want the Dying to Serve. For me, it's between the, the Wheel Kick and the Innkeeper. I'm just going to go Innkeeper keep my creature count high. Whenever one or more creature cards leave your graveyard, make a bet. Now that's interesting, because I have Binding of the Titans to trigger that. I have Egan to trigger that. Spider Spawning, the Archfiend, hmm. I'm going to take the Desecrated Tomb, see if that's a thing. Gutter Bones fits right into that. Um, this card's kind of cool, but kind of weird. Um, not a Devotion to Green deck. And, okay, they have both sets of Shrines in here. That's kind of cute. But yeah, I'm taking Gutter Bones. Black, green, land is probably the pick here. Yeah. I'm um, not really into Kami of Terrible Secrets. Proliferate and then target creature fights up to a cr one target creature you don't control. Do you know what that does for me? 
I think I'll just take the Rotten Reunion. It's not great. It's okay. Make treasure. Kind of like key to the city. Don't really know what I'm doing with it yet, though. But I'm going to take the key to the city. Okay. So, what is my deck doing? I have 10 creatures. So my spider spawning will be good potentially. I have some big black and or big black dorks that are okay. I have desecrated tomb to take to make even more tokens. I have some graveyard stuff going on. It's kind of loose. <laughs> um, none of these cards do anything. I'll just take the land. I have this pest summoning that I could play in the main deck, or I could leave in the sideboard if I get a lesson. Or sorry, this is a lesson. If I get something that learns. I need this last pack to be good. I feel like I'm close to something here. But I'm not quite there yet. Okay, I'm glad that the spinning wheel kick came back, actually. I have some mana dorks that will help me cast that more reliably. Yeah. I don't think I'm playing Majestic Mary Arc, but maybe. Herald of Anguish is a house. This card is great. Um... There's an Artifact Matters thing, there's an Enchantment Matters thing, there's another Mana Dork, there's an Environmental Sciences. This thing isn't a creature. So, I can sacrifice an Artifact to give a thing minus two minus two. I have a couple Artifacts. I'm probably not ever casting this for cheaper. It's just a good card, though, and I think it's the best card in this pack for me. I'm not worried about having a card like Environmental Sciences. Yeah, I'm going to take the Herald. Sanitarium Skeleton. Feed the Swarm. Oh, there's a Woodland Cemetery. Should probably just take the Woodland Cemetery. I'd be okay with either Skeleton or Feed the Swarm. Yeah, for now I'm just happy taking Woodland Cemetery. Oh, here we go. Here's a Graveyard Matters thing. Sweet. Um, I would play First Sphere Gargantua also if I get it, but I'm not taking it over Liliana here. Yeah, Liliana is great here. Care to volunteer. Okay, we've got Eye Twitch, Blood Curdle, Perilous Mirror, and Callous Blood Mage as options here. Eye Twitch only gets Pest Summoning, which is pretty good. I kind of like the Callous Blood Mage more, though. Hmm, there's a Necrotic Fumes, so I'll take this and put it in the sideboard and hope to get something that learns on the wheel. Ooh, now I'm getting stuff. Lord of Extinction? Temple of Malady, Twisted Embrace. Um, I think my mana's good, so I'm not going to take mana. Do I take a removal spell or the Lord of Extinction? I'm going to take the Lord of Extinction. I'm just taking the good stuff at this point. <laughs> um, I could just take this as a minus two, minus two, I think. Maybe. Put it into your graveyard, then shuffle. 
so I can go get the Spider Spawning or the Archfiend Fiend of Sorrows. Seems sweet. Oh, or I could get this. Hmm. Nah, I'll take the, the Grave Breaker. Containment Construct could be good here. I'm discarding some cards. Containment Construct plus uh, <laughs> Rotting Registor is a bit of a combo. Okay, I got the Sanitarium Skeleton. And I did get the first Sphere Gargantua back, okay. No, that's not good enough. Sweet. I'm pretty happy with, with this deck. It looks a little crazy, but I'm kind of into it. Oh, and the Eye Twitch came back? Hoo hoo. Now I have access to the Necrotic Fumes and the Pest Summoning. Okay. Sweet. I was not sure if we were going to get there, but it looks like we did. Um, what's my creature count? 17. That's high enough. Okay. I think I do want to play the Precipitous Drop, just as a cheap removal spell. And let's read this thing. So this is a 5-mana Star Star. Its power and toughness are equal to twice the number of creatures you control. At the beginning of each combat, it gains flying. If we control a creature with flying, the same is true for all of the things. So if we have like a bat token or an eye twitch or something and we have a bunch of tokens out, maybe this thing's good. I just don't know if it's better than any of the other creatures I have. It might be better than this. Yeah, actually I'll make that switch. Though I might just be cutting it anyways. Okay. I like Binding of Titans. I don't know if I need the key to the city. Yeah, I'll cut the key to the city. I think I'll cut this Rotten Reunion. Um, I'll bring it in if I need it, but I think leaving it in the sideboard for now is fine. Same with the Argyle's Bloodfast. This is 20 card or 40 cards. Um, I need to put in my nice basics. I like this deck though. I think we've got some mana dorks, so we can just ramp into our big our big dumb stuff. Or we can use Liliana and Registor and Egan to kind of go off. Yeah, I think this is gonna be pretty sweet. Okay, let's hop into a couple matches with this deck. Alright, getting into our first game here against Promise of Power. Yeah, this hand looks good. I'll keep it. Um, I'm just leading on Gutter Bones here, I think. Maybe I'm leading on Sanitarium Skeleton. Desecrated Tomb actually works really well with the cards I have in my hand. So, that is fine with me. Glass Casket on my Skelly. This seems aggressive opponent. Um... I guess I'll just use my mana better and play the Containment Construct. That was rude, though. <laughs> okay, sure. So they're attacking, putting a counter on it. Um, I'm going to say no blocks because I'm going to Precipitous Drop it. Hmm. 
So I get to venture into the dungeon. I'm only going to do this once. So do I want to scry one, gain a life, or make each player lose a life? I guess I'll scry one. Spider spawning has to go to the bottom, unfortunately, because I need a land for next turn. There's the combo. I'll slam rotting register here. Yep. So like next turn I'm planning on discarding gutter bones to the rotting register and then casting it, I think. I'd love to find a land before I do all that. So if I can draw a land, discard the gutter bones, that would be nice. Our opponent's draw really worked out for them, didn't it? Oh, they're not gaining life to make blood? So I'll do that, I'll do that. I did find the land, so now I can go land, desecrated tomb. And then, is this Egan a throne of death? Or is it an Egan? Um, let's smash for seven. Yep. Now I'm just trying to decide, do I play the gutter bones? Or do I play the throne of death? Um, I kind of just want to play the Throne of Death. Okay. Sure, they played some dorks. No blocks. So let's mill a card. Then I will discard the Gutter Bones. When I exile it, Tomb activates. So now I'll play Gutter Bones. Um, and then am I attacking? If I smash for seven here... No, I think I have to say no attacks. Because I think I win the long game with the Desecrated Tomb. Yeah, I'll start jump blocking with my bats. That's what they're there for. Okay, so I'll mill a card. Discard a card. Take action. Make a bat token. Draw a Herald of Anguish. Ooh, I can cast this. 
Um, I'm just going to play the Grave Breaker, though. So let's go put a creature into our graveyard. I think I want the Archfiend of Sorrows. Yes, probably the Archfiend. It's either that or like spider spawning, but spider spawning is not really doing anything right now. So we'll put that in our graveyard. Now I think I do get to smash with the Retosaur. Yeah, they block with the Twin Blade Geist, that's fine. Have the bats to block the luminous phantom, so I'm not as worried about that. The angel of invention does make things a little tough. Now it's six six. Yep. Do the thing. And then I'm just slamming the Herald here. Go to end step. Discard their last card. It was just a land. Shoot. <laughs> uh, so they're going to put double strike on something here. And yeah, their flyers are getting a little out of hand. Okay, they put it on the angel. Now they attack with both. And then they sparring regimen the angel. Mm-hmm. So now I just block with, with my little guy. Take some damage. Actually, I don't know if I want to exile this. No, I do. But I do, I do. Okay. I'd like to draw a land here, actually. Land is perfect. So now I can go land. I can go prosperous innkeeper and make a treasure. And then I can activate this twice to kill that. And I'm sacrificing the Egan. I think I attack 
with at least these two. And then they have to discard a card. They discarded the Wanderer. I am here to aid in the assault. Okay. Are you gonna give it indestructible? Prepare for battle. You give it lifelink. Okay. So with lifelink chosen, I think I do double block with Harold plus Bat to kill it. Because the rest of my stuff is so much stronger. Yep, I'm fine with this. Yeah, they've got to start looking for something to do. So I get to kill Gideon here. I can put a death touch counter on something interesting. So I'm definitely gonna unearth this. Triggers. Make a bat. Trigger. Um, then let's go to combat. This and this attack Gideon. This and this attack you. Yeah. How did they have a removal spell for Regisaur? Yeah, they do. Hmm. Okay. And then... I kind of want to cycle this. So let's put a death touch counter on... token maybe yeah I kind of like that okay uh, no I do not want to exile that from my graveyard thank you very much let me land for the turn and pass so I still have this that I can play at some time to clean up their board if it comes to that Gideon can't do much to me right now I'm at 15 life, thanks to the Gravebreaker and the Prosperous Innkeeper. I definitely feel like we're in control of this game. Yep, out of blood now. Did you find something? I believe in you, friend. Give it lifelink, really? I'll block. Oh, I guess they get to bring it back right away. It's kind of cute, I guess. Are they just dead? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. They weren't just dead, but... Oh, yeah, they were. Because I could unearth this thing. Okay, cool. Well, that went great. Um, they do have something in that comes back that I wouldn't mind having the Rotten Reunion for. Um, otherwise, I thought my deck was great. 
So what do I cut to bring in the Rotten Reunion? I don't really want to cut a creature. I'm going to bring this in, and I'm cutting... Maybe it's just like the Callous Blood Mage. This doesn't do a ton. It's just kind of nice. A nice value thing. Okay, that first game went great. Let's see if we can follow it up with a good performance here. Um, this is a slow hand. I am gonna keep it though. Three BB, okay. As long as I can find lands, the Grave Breaker Lamia can go get my minus two minus two thing, and then Lord of Extinction can start to stabilize, I hope. Okay, there's spider spawning. That's good for later. Mm. I'm gonna be too slow here, it looks like. Okay, there's Eye Twitch. Eye Twitch gets to block. Ugh, they had portable hole. <laughs> I'm just dead here. Okay. Let's win one on the play. Opponent had a nice one, two, three there. There was nothing I could do. Actually, the eye twitch was going to give me some time, but I ended up not having any time. And so actually, I don't think dealing with the, um, the Silver Smoke Ghoul is worth it. I think I'd rather have Callous Blood Mage to make two dudes... Opponent's deck does seem pretty sweet. As long as they don't have Sparring Regiment on curve, I think <laughs> I think the game looks a lot different. Um, yeah, I keep this. It's awkward because I can't play anything on turn one, but I think it's fine. Binding of the Titans will hopefully find me a land. And they mulligan here, so... Looking okay for us. We'll lead on the Woodland Cemetery. It doesn't really matter. Cool. Cool, I did hit a land. So I can at least pick that up on the following turn. Sweet. Um, we'll just hit their thing, I don't think I wanna Get rid of my Rotting Register. Am I slamming Egan here? Is a question. It's a 6 6 Death Toucher that can start attacking. And I have at least some stuff to sacrifice to it. I 
I don't think so, though. I think this is a Throne of Death. So I think I'm just going to get Gutter Bones going. Next turn, I'm going to pick up one of my lands, I think. Leave Rotting Regis over there. Oh my god. Must be nice. Must be nice, opponent. Um, so actually, I think I attack here. Okay. They didn't take the bait. I almost feel like I need to play Egan. Just to stop them from attacking for a little bit. So they can't attack this turn. I'll get rid of these two. Okay. Opponent just seems to have it all, huh? I'll kill Isamaru. I'll scry one. I'm gonna bottom this land. I want land seven for Herald, obviously. I don't think I'm... Like, this is going to draw me a card. So. So I'm just going to say no blocks here. Um, just land on bottom. So I'll do it this way first. Okay. These two things can double block this now. They can venture, that's fine. Gutter Bones can chump this next turn. And then hopefully I can, um, I can start stabilizing. So that doesn't do anything. Um, do I just need to play the Lord of Extinction to stop them from attacking? And then do the Herald the following turn. Kind of think yes. So I'm fetching Swamp, and I can do this plus this. <laughs> of course they have. Our opponent's draw has been insane. Actually insane. Um, if I do this, both my things die. I go to three, then I play this, and I'm just dead. I mean, yeah, I think this is my best play. Yeah, it's not gonna matter.
I think I could have beat my opponent if they didn't have Sparring Regiment on curve every game. Now I have to just, like, throw my best thing into this. I have some outs still, like Liliana's a good draw. I don't know if I'd say Sanitarium Skeleton's a good draw, but it's a draw. I can do this to draw a card. Found spinning wheel kick. Okay, let's attack. Opponent not taking the bait. Let's see to pick up gutter runes. I just can't beat Sparring Regimen. Just kidding. Eye Twitch gives me life. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm just dead. Still. Well, that's a frustrating loss. Uh. <laughs> I thought the Lord of Extinction was going to stabilize me, and my opponent had the perfect removal spell for it. Um, yeah, I just couldn't couldn't deal with their stuff getting way too big. So, it's an unfortunate loss, but hopefully we will come back in the next couple matches. Alright, getting into the second game here in our cube draft. I'm going to play first. And, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Not being able to play Binding of the Titans early is a little awkward, but we've got a cheap removal spell. We've got a good creature to play on board. So yeah, this is fine. Um, I'm not gonna use Precipitous Drop on the Fang of Shijeki. Just doesn't do anything, and I can make a 1-1 if I really want to. But they just pass through their turn. Um, do I draw a card or make a pest? Um... I think I'm just going to draw a card here. Cool. Did our opponent pass through their land drop, or did they just keep a one land hand? They kept a one land hand. Interesting. Now, am I precipitous dropping? <laughs> I still don't think so. Milled over two lands. Oh, they have a mall of the Skyclaves. Interesting. I think I'm still pretty into just trading here. I did find lands that I can pick up with my Binding of the Titan. Um, I'll just play the Gravebreaker Lamia here. Get spider spawning, huh? I think I just get the gargantua though. The card that draws me cards is probably the the right one to get. Oh, I forgot. I could have gotten whatever I wanted and just picked it up with Binding of the Titans. Um, do I want to pick this up and then just cast it? Kinda. Kind of sounds good. Just slam this. I'm at seven mana. So next turn I can just slam Herald of Anguish, or I can play this to kill their thing. I mean, this game wasn't a game because my opponent kept a one lander. Combat 
attacks. Damages. Here's this thing. Yeah, <laughs> discard the mending of Dominaria. <laughs> Seems like a good discard to me. Okay, they finally got all their mana. Why is this thing's power and toughness? Oh. Because creatures enter the battlefield with additional plus one plus one counters. Got it. Okay. Um. Let's see. I can... Is, is Death Touch not Menace? I can make them chump everything, right? Attack with everything is just chump, chump, chump. I guess they can double block something, huh? to cycle this to put a death touch counter on my Lamia. And then they both die. They take five. And I'll just play Innkeeper and pass. I don't feel like I need to slam the running register here. The innkeeper made a artifact for the Herald of Anguish, so yeah. Cool. Our deck worked and our opponent's deck didn't really. They kept kind of an, an ambitious hand. Um, looks like they're a pretty aggressive, like, green, red, white creatures deck. They've got them all of the Skyclaves. So... Do I have anything that helps here? Not really. The Harvester of Souls is like a 5-5 Death Toucher. But I don't know that it's any better than any of the other things I'm doing up here. No, I don't think so. Run it back. Okay. On the draw game, too. Let's see if our opponent's hand is a little nicer to them. Uh, this hand looks great to me. I would love to keep They've got the Fang on turn one again. We'll do the Skull Prophet here. And nothing, but I missed my land drop. So I'm gonna go Callous Blood Mage again. Draw a card. Never didn't have it. Captain Sisse. It's a little scary. Um, I just don't know what they could get. They could get anything, right? <laughs> I think I'll just drop that. And then hold up Cycle Space Godzilla. Or I could slam the Desecrated Tomb. Maybe Tomb's better here. Do this. Uh, scry one. Do I want this right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I'm actually really close to casting it. Yeah, okay, I can stay. Yeah, I'll attack here. If they want to make this trade again, I'm fine with it. Oh, 
They can be mill three cards, sure. And then they can exile two of my creatures. It's a little annoying, but it's fine. Um, I can use this to go get a creature. If they, <laughs> if they exile some of my stuff, I get a bat with Desecrated Doom. It's kind of cool. Just slamming Liliana here. Ticking her up. Discarding Gutter Boons. No attacks. Pass the turn. Yep, they are gonna exile some stuff, so I get a bat token. <laughs> Next turn I can play the Gravebreaker now and go get um something cool. Do I mill with Skull Prophet? No, I don't think I need to. Oh, I think I discard Rotting Regisaur. Opponents full up on lands, unfortunately, for them. Um, I think, again, I'm just getting the first Sphere Gargantua. I have the removal spell in my hand. Yeah. I'll hit for two again. Cool. So what do they pick up here? Brea's Apprentice is pretty strong. But even if they pick that up, I can just, like, spinning wheel kick. Kill two things. I'm in a really good spot here. Our opponent has not done much of anything. We've been able to take advantage. They have to get a creature, and I assume it has to be the Bray's Apprentice. But they're getting a land? Why did they need seventh land? It's a doggy villain world out there. Teamwork is strength. Okay. Sure. Then attack. Yeah, I'll walk. Yeah, I'll just kill this. Um, play this to draw a card, and it triggers my Desecrated Tomb, found my land, you attack my opponent, you attack Zhang Yu, Zhang Yanggu, sorry. Um, am I binding? Yeah. Oh, and I felt spider spawning, cool. So now on the second, oh, Renama's not bad, I guess. So here I'm gonna exile one of their creatures and one of my creatures. So I'm gonna get their Brea's Apprentice. And then, my this, because I wanna trigger the Desecrated Tomb. Just kill this with Lily. The X is one. This punches that. Then I'll fetch.
Do I cycle this? I think I probably cycle this. Put a death touch counter on one of these bats. Okay, cool. And that should be it. Sweet. Well, <laughs> it's great when a plan comes together, and the deck was spinning on all cylinders this time. Alright, into the last game with this cube deck. Um, we're on the draw, which is okay, but my deck's very slow, so I think being on the play does help my deck that much more. Uh, this is a fine hand. It's a slow hand. <laughs> but at least we can play the Sanitarium Skeleton early. Yeah, I mean, I think we keep this. I don't think I'm ever not keeping this hand. Cool. Finding the forest was a good draw. Okay, they've got an innkeeper, yep. I'm gonna go binding here. Uh, no, I'm not attacking. I milled the chemistry's in sight, <laughs> and then I milled my own gutter bones. I guess I can... Oh, they're shrines. Okay. Well, I get to exile their chemistry's in sight now. I just milled over Desecrated Tomb, right? Yeah. Sweet. They let me hit them, which means I get to pick up Gutter Bones and play Gutter Bones. Just like doing little, little value things here. <laughs> My opponent's on the five color shrines plane, it looks like. Sure, just slamming a planeswalker turn four. Mm-hmm. I would run if I were you. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play some dorks. I don't think this game's over yet. These dogs are going to be annoying, but I can block them forever. I need to be able to kill the Planeswalker at some point, though. We will see how that goes. Next turn I can play this. The more they discard with this, the bigger this grows. The Lord of Extinction. They just kicked Skyclave Relic to make more Skyclave Relics. <laughs> sure. Spinning Wheel kicks a nice draw. I uh, can't do anything with it this turn. found a land. So now next turn, I can Spinning Wheel Kick for two, and this can kick Mordekainen and a creature, hopefully. There's a Johnny. Yep. Okay, they've got a lifelink thing going. Mm-hmm. Jeez Louise, they're just going off here on the Sajani's Pride Mate. Liliana's gonna be nice to have for later also. 
Oh, Liliana's a combo with um, Containment Construct. That's cute. I think this turn, though, I just need a Spinning Wheel Kick and kill both of the Planeswalkers. And then find a way to deal with the creatures later. So this creature is going to kick both of those. And then we'll just pass. Um, Lord of Extinction might be the play next turn. Okay, Wave Sifter is a cool card. They get to investigate twice, which is basically drawing a card. This is basically Mole Drifter. They could crack both. Or they could crack clues here, is the joke. So I'm just going to block with a skeleton. Five cards in my graveyard, so Liliana can come down minus and do some stuff, but not a ton. But she could get rid of the last card in their hand. But then the flyers just kill her. I don't know that that's particularly good. Kind of like just going land Lord of Extinction here. It's not like that great, but it's gonna hold off the flyers for now. And at this point, I'm guessing my opponent doesn't have anything in their hand that's worth playing. Oh, but they have their clues to draw, sure. Attacks with the flyers. Circuit Mender is a good card. Mm hmm. Egan God of Death. I think this is going to be better on the backside as the Throne of Death. What is Lily doing? I think Lily has to try to kill something. But what is she trying to kill? So backside for the throne of death, I think, is best. And I think Lily might just have to come down and kill the flyer. The wave sifter. Maybe I was meant to kill the, the Falconroth Noble instead. Maybe that was the better thing to do there. If I can start milling over creatures, the spider spawning could bring me back into the game. Oh. Yep, there is Lily. Spider spawning plus innkeeper is going to gain me a lot of life also, in theory. Okay, sure. I protect those who cannot protect themselves. Friendship. Just gaining life? Yeah, sure. 
Um, And I don't want to exile creatures from my graveyard because I want spider spawning, but I feel like I need to find something to do. That does count. It only kills a couple things, but it does kill some stuff. Um, let's pick up Skelly, play Skelly, play land, have to pass. Yeah, I think I think we're losing this game. Oh. Yeah, we're losing this game right now. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> what a strange, awesome deck our opponent put together. Okay. Um... Do I want Rotten Reunion? They had the Colossal Sky Turtle and Chemistry's Insight to like get stuff back. It's not the worst idea. Um, does Precipitous Drop matter? It didn't seem like Precipitous Drop matters. We might be way too slow here. Because our opponent's going super big. We'll see. Our opponent's deck is sweet. Um, just take all the planeswalkers and all the mana fixing. I, I like it. Yeah, sure. Dorky little hand. Oh, they kept. That's not good for us. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And scry to the top. Must be nice. I've realized that our deck has some cute little synergies, but they don't it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Hit your for one, I'll play a two one. It draws me a card. Yeah, there's their sanctum. Land. Sweet. Okay. We are... <laughs> We're doing something, I guess. Don't know how good it is, but something is happening on my side of the battlefield. They have Usher of the Fallen in their deck. Why? The Reckoner Bankbuster, I understand. This, I don't understand even a little bit. I might just slam this, honestly. See if this can just race me to victory. Next turn I can play Lamia or First Spirit Gargantua. And smack them for nine flying. There must be base white. I didn't get that from their lands last game either. But, I mean, this is showing me that they, <laughs> that they have to be base white. They have mascot exhibition. Okay. I'm just getting pest summoning here. Make this as big as possible. Yeah, it is each combat that this gets its bonuses, which is nice. It makes sense. So I can go skeleton. Plus pest summoning, and then try to attack for 10. May I 
attack for 10, please. I'm guessing they just jump here. Yeah. Don't kill my big bird, please. This Herald of Anguish can give it flying. Um, if I find Desecrated Tomb, that can give it flying also. I also just wouldn't mind a land to go land first for Gargantua. Sweet. They're using their turn casting Chemister's Insight. That means they're not doing anything. They might just be dead here. Or probably not literally dead, but... They, oh, they didn't find a land either. That's unlucky. I'm just going to play this. Draw a card. Everything attacks. They have to jump. They take damage. So the most mana they can make this turn is six. I'm not super scared of what they could do with six mana. Maybe we can salvage this match after all, if our opponent's deck stumbles like this. Yeah, even the mascot exhibition doesn't really help them. If I find land, the Archfiend of Sorrows cleans it up really nicely. I don't know if they know about Archfiend of Sorrows. Well, this draw confused me. Like... <laughs> Thraben Inspector and Usher of the Fallen seem like maybe I do want the Precipitous Drop. It just doesn't seem like that's actually what the game's going to be about, but maybe it is. I still like the Rotten Reunion. So what other card do I take out? The Tombs may be a little mopey. I haven't been able to get the spider spawning to work. Maybe I'll trim the spider spawning. Like, even that first game that went on forever, spider spawning just was looking a little moopy. Unfortunately, because I think spider spawning is a really cool card, and I thought this deck could make it work, but it's just not... This deck doesn't go through its cards enough. Yeah, I'll keep this. <laughs> Sand's not great, but again, it's got some powerful stuff in it. Nice. So I can cycle this on three and go from there. Oh, I can just use this to make a 2 2. 2 2 with decayed. Now I'm going to hold it for if they try to do something. Yeah, you got it. What are we learning about the mass conduct exhibition? Yep. Oh, new plan. New plan, and it is Rotting Registor. I'll discard the Rotten Reunion. And we will just start slamming with the 7 6. Their mana is cooperating better this game. Is it enough? Skyclave Relic, sure, and Circuit Mender, yep. Okay. Attack 
attacking with both here. Because I'm cycling this this turn anyways. So. Um, next turn I'll probably discard the Gargantua and then just unearth it. I was going to say, if I can find Archfiend of Sorrows, this isn't so bad. Um, let's see, put this on black, I think. Then I think I'll take a turn off from attacking. I'll just play the Lord of Extinction. No attacks. Then I'll discard this. And then flash it back and smash. Nahiri, sure. Make a 1-1. One, one. Uh-huh. Okay, Tracker's a good card. That doesn't die to the Archfiend, obviously. So here comes the Archfiend. It's going to kill a bunch of stuff. And it's going to let me... Oh, this has flying. What does Nahiri do? Make some 1-1s? One -ones? I've decided I don't care about Nahiri. That goes away. And yeah, I have to discard this, which kind of sucks. But I get to make another thing. There are two, so now I can start, or I can use, <clears throat> excuse me, Rotten Reunion to make a lethal threat also. My opponent just has to keep chump blocking. I think we're going to be able to do this. I think we're going to pull it off. They have to come up with one more blocker, because this can come. I'm trying to eat him. Sometimes you just gotta go aggro. And our favorite little zombie dinosaur is helping us do that. Yep, discard this. Unearth this. Are you dead? Combat. Attack you. Okay. Not dead. I have resto. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They just have to jump three times. Like, even if they kill the Gargantua, that doesn't matter because of Unearth. So it's just jump, jump, jump. they do that? They'd rather block with this than this? I guess that makes sense. I 
and then they'll draw a card. No, they decide to not to draw a card. I just drew two lands there, which does suck. Basically all of my unearth value is gone now. Or my graveyard value, I guess, is what I mean. Why didn't they crack a clue? Sure, Prosperous Innkeeper makes a treasure. And now they gain a life. So now my Rotten Reunion token is not lethal. Mm-hmm. Create a treasure and venture into the dungeon. Sure. Yep, and they just scry here. Bottom. Yep. So like I said, I was looking at just uh, Rodden doing this to exile whatever and make a 2-2. Two -two. Because then I'd have, you know, they were two, two, two was the lethal threat. But now I think I'm just going to pick up the sanitarium skeleton instead. Oh, I can just discard the skeleton. I uh, know, I'll discard the land. Okay, play skeleton. Attacks. Yeah, it looks like they're keeping innkeeper alive. Makes sense. Your move. I guess I should have just played my land there. I like keeping the mystery. I don't think I have anything else that I can cast for a bunch of mana anyways. I guess Spinning Wheel Kick. If I draw S Spinning Wheel Kick and I need to kill too many things. What? Sphere of Annihilation enters the battlefield with X Void Counters. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile it. All creatures and planes which with mana value less than or equal to the number of Void Counters on it. And all creature... Oh, in graveyards also, I see. But they have to survive to their upkeep? Do I Rotten Reunion? If I Rotten Reunion, I can make a 2-2, two -two, then they'd go to 1 after the attack. If I find a removal spell, they're dead anyway, so I think I hold on to this still. Cool. There's the Spinning Wheel Kick. So, 1, 2, and just do it twice. Uh... <laughs> Skeleton can do it. <laughs> uh, no, I'll target uh, Regisaur. Oh, what a close game! That was a cool, a cool match. Our opponent's deck looked sweet, but rotting Regisaur. 
I mean, really, what else is there to say but Rotting Regisaur? This card's really cool, and there's a lot of fun things you can do with it. Sometimes you just need to go aggressive, but we also pulled off that Containment Construct Rotting Regisaur combo in at least one game. Um, this deck was sweet, I think. Uh, we didn't get there on the spider spawning, unfortunately, but some of the mild graveyard synergies really did work, and being able to use the Gravebreaker to go get Gargantua or Archfiend of Sorrows was really, really cool. And then our Herald of Anguish and our Rotting Registrar showed up and were, were really, really powerful for us. Uh, that's going to be it for me for this draft. Um, give it a shot. Cubes are fun. We're still just waiting for the next set to come out, Streets of New Capenna. So, yeah, do the draft. <laughs> give it a shot. Um, I think you'll enjoy yourself. I know I had fun with this deck, so thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you next time.